And it's your Midmost Sports Network halftime show. William Holtz joined by Marcus Sikora from State Farm Insurance. And that's not all the guy does. Marcus, you're also a professional fisherman and an advocate for all things good. What's going on, brother? Not a whole lot, man. It's uh it's a great night to be a Laker fan and happy to be here with you. So uh, weather's pretty nice, good football weather. So I think it's a pretty good night so far. It didn't get as warm as or as cold as I thought it was. I had you some hand warmers over there, <laughs> but you don't even really need them. No, I, mean, I think I took a layer off, as a matter of fact. It wasn't near as bad as what I thought it was going to be. So, and, and we've had several cool days now, so we're kind of getting acclimated to it. We're ready. Right. We're ready. It felt warmer <laughs> than it was. So let's talk about you now. You're a professional fisherman, and I talked about uh, why aren't you fishing, and you said that's tomorrow. So do tell more. Yeah, that's tomorrow. So we got Anglers in Action. That's the same parent company that does uh, the Big Bass Bash and things like that. So an enormous advocate of tourism uh, for Lake of the Ozarks here. Such an amazing fishery. We we describe Lake of the Ozarks as the best lake in the country that does not have aquatic vegetation or grass. So uh, so it's a great lake. Very blessed to call it home. And uh, and it and that fishing is a big deal down here. So, Absolutely. So is. looking forward to it. So their championship is here next couple of days. So uh, so hopefully we're we're hoping to be better than uh, get lucky than than be good anyways. <laughs> so or will you be fishing with your protege, your son? No, not yet, not yet. He's got a football game. I got to leave tomorrow. He's a little hog. He's part of the undefeated little hogs team. So they're going to Waynesville tomorrow. So I'll fish half a day and I'll bounce to go watch the little hogs championship. Come back and make a couple more casts and hopefully call it good for the day one. Hopefully uh, get the W right. Yeah, it's a two day deal, so you can't lose it. Uh, you can't win it in one day, but you sure can lose it. So you got to catch enough on day one to keep around, and then put the pedal metal on day two. Absolutely. And uh, so. so, Marcus, one thing that uh, you know we share some commonalities between us, but one thing, we love Lake of the Ozarks and we love things good for Lake of the Ozarks. Right. And one thing we both feel very strongly about that's really good for Lake of the Ozarks is a pretty hot topic right now locally. And it's that's actually the, insanely hot, quite yeah. frankly. <laughs> like, people are getting out there on some things. They're, they're getting crazy, <laughs> you know. But we want to let people know there's been many misconceived or, or – notions that aren't necessarily true and I just think it's a, a lack of knowledge that's there but what's some things that drew your interest to this project and why you truly believe it's good for our lake well I just think you know everyone you talk to and I know your family's from here and I'm not I've lived here 20 years started my business 17 years ago from ground zero but everyone you talked to said how did you get to the lake well I came here as a kid or my parents brought me or there's some sort of trigger that happens that starts the what I call the imprint to come into Lake of the Ozarks and if there's there's a whole bunch of people out there that may not know what Lake of the Ozarks has to offer. It can extend some employment, help some of the off-shoulder season. Those are the things that I'm looking for. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that are caught up on some really, really finite things, and I understand that, and I respect that, right? I respect differences, and I'm not saying we're going to get along on everything. But to me, it's really a combination of the greater of the whole, yeah. right? So if you have, I've been describing, if you have one page of bad, you know, pros and cons, if you have one page of things that you don't like, but I can fill up four pages of things I do like, there's nothing in my life I've ever experienced that's been perfect. So to me, it's the greater good, and that's why I'm an advocate for it. Very good. And the cool thing is uh, some of those projections could be modest just based on the lake and the way we're growing. And it yeah. seems as if we need more things, not just a soccer complex, but I'm in the – people that believe that if this comes to fruition, a lot of things will follow. Well, that's just it. You know, there's there's a lot of people that think that we need to build something to attract people. No, we need to attract people and then free enterprise will build something. That's right. And that's the way I look at it. And I know a lot of, lot of the, and, and like I said, I've never walked in their shoes, so I don't know, but I know a lot of these things that one thing that's not being brought up is I think number one, if the numbers are even anywhere close to good, the original 3% on that tax base is going to have a heck of a lot more money. And what that means to me is I'm actually one of the heads that decides where some of that fishing money goes. Mm -hmm. who, do, who do small resorts benefit? They benefit the fishermen. That's right. I am a fisherman, and I'm an advocate for fishing at Lake of the Ozarks. So maybe my the way I'm looking at things is maybe there'd be more 3% than we've had before yeah. because I would love a larger budget. Right. And maybe I can recruit more fishing to Lake of right. the Ozarks, and maybe that would fill some of that void there too. But nobody talks about that. Yeah, and it's not the lodge in Margaritaville that are benefiting be fine. from the, the fishing tournaments. That's right. Yet, 
they're the ones that pay all of the lodging tax into the 1.6 million, whereas Morgan County only made up for one point or 2.7 percent. It was forty nine thousand dollars. Yeah. Yet that 1.6, 1.7 million dollars goes to promote the entire, the entire lake. lake, the entire Tri County area. That's exactly right. And that's the thing, you know, it's like. It's it's like the it's like the Chicago Bulls deal sports adage, right? I mean, if the team was full of Michael Jordans, they probably wouldn't have won any championships. That's right. You got to have a Dennis Rodman, you got to have a Steve Kerr, you got to have, and you got, and that's part of like the Ozarks, and that's what makes it unique is the diversification of the resorts, the restaurants, and all of those things. And and honestly, I'd love some sort of success. I'd love to yeah. see some sort of success for the Lake of the Ozarks because it seems like every time we get a forward momentum moving forward, it it just gets totally totally right. bashed down, and 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 we're so much lower than anywhere else. Right. You know, throw a 300-mile net out there and find somebody that's got the pricing we have because there isn't any. So, you know, and I'd love to see it expand. Maybe we right. get success. Maybe we gain confidence. Maybe we can go to general revenue. Right. You know, I don't want just the hotel years to pay for everything. Right. Um, but at the same time, it's it's just part of it. And maybe we can find confidence in this, expand. And then that'll be that rising time that brings everybody up. And that's what we're hoping for. And I, and I also looked at me as a middle-class somebody that travels. I can't ever tell you what I pay in lodging tax somewhere. It's not an I issue. I just figure Travelocity, Expedia, and the sites I book through, they're going to get me for some fees. There's going to be some lodging fees, but it's not a do or die for me, and I'm certainly not going to go 30 to 45 minutes out of my way to save 3%. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but I've never. it's never crossed my brain to know what that lodging is. I'm looking for the value. I'm looking for the experience, and, and regardless of what that is, that's just part of it. It's like your cell phone plan. You think your, your cell phone plan is $50 a month, but why does it come out of your checking account at $80? Right. A month, right? right? It's part of it, and and those are the things that people are just going to do, and that's. I don't see anybody really asking about that. And if they did ask about that, you could still have the confidence to tell them that we're less than everywhere else around. So, you know, I'm hoping that we can really, really get together and mend as a community and try to create and find some sort of common ground where we can agree. And let's move forward and let's and let's let's get some victories here. That's right. Yeah, because it's just turned into a not really we're all listening to learn and see what this is really about. We've just turn where we're divided and we none are, of us yeah. like to see that because what truly makes our lake special is the people all of us that are here year round and to see us divided that kind of tugs on our heartstrings a little bit and i don't want people to get nasty i want to be nice to each other yeah. even if we disagree but at the end of the day i know i'm with you i'm proud to endorse Me this too. project and i hope that all of you guys yeah. will join marcus sakura and myself on tuesday november 5th and vote yes for an increase in the tri-county lodging association tax to fund a destination at tournament soccer complex before i go i gotta ask you big time for insurance what should people be asking themselves or asking their current provider and if they're not asking them what can you tell them? Well, what I always ask people or my team asks people is in the event of your worst day, how much do you want to pay for out of pocket and how much do you want the insurance company to pay for? And what I see all the time is people always say, well, I want the insurance company to pay for all of it. Well, what you're telling you want, what your coverage reflects are two different things. I mean, we got unique markets here. We got condos, we got second homes, we got rental properties. There's so many different uh, caveats to the insurance industry and it's a contract. So the only thing I'd ask for, I'd love, the, I'd love to be the person that you would trust, my team, to be an advocate for you. We represent the great uh, State Farm is to me, I'm very, very blessed to represent them and, and give us a chance. What do you got to lose? I promise you I care and, uh, and we will do everything we can to earn your trust. Awesome. That is Marcus Segura with State Farm Insurance here in Osage Beach. Not just that, professional fisherman. Good luck tomorrow, my <laughs> Thank friend. Thank you, man. I'll take it, bro. Thanks for your support you. of our high Thank school you. football coverage. Yeah. And go great Lakers. Job. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you. Go Thanks, Lakers. Man. That's go Lakers. Marcus Segura, State Farm Insurance. We'll be right back on Lake TV after this.